Okay. <laughs> That's my arm. That's my arm. Okay. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Oh. You do? Okay. Sit. Sit. Pound it. Pound it. There you go. You want some? Oh, fuck yeah. That's the good shit. It's on your nose, buddy. Is that nice? Okay, not too much though, because you gotta have your food soon, okay? Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed those little clips of Loki. He's about one year and four months old now, so he's turning into a fine young wolf. He's licking himself over on his bed over there. Um, but yeah, he's turning into a fine young wolf. He's, he's a great dog. He's absolutely awesome. Uh, but today I'm here to talk about some other stuff. Some stuff to do with my channel and me going forward with my content. And um, so this is serious. This is serious stuff. If you came here for a goddamn joke, then get the hell out of here. I'm just kidding, by the way. It's, it's really not that serious. It, it's not that serious. What do you think of my long hair, by the way, guys? I think, I think I'm just going to keep growing it. What do you think? Be, it might be a little bit too long at the moment, not going to lie. But I'm going to keep it around uh, this length. I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. But... That's not that's not the important thing we're here to talk about is my hair. That's definitely not it. Um, imagine that was the whole video. I just wanted to get you guys input on my hair. No, but what I'm talking about is streaming going forward. So I did this poll about three, four months ago maybe. Um, asking which platform you'd prefer see me stream on. It was Mixer, Twitch, or YouTube. That was before Ninja had joined Mixer, by the way. But um, YouTube won with quite a majority of the vote. But I think it's kind of unfair to put that vote on YouTube, you know, because that's where the YouTube audience is. They're obviously going to vote for YouTube, right? Twitch had quite a substantial amount of the vote as well. But I kind of feel like going forward, I want to stream on a different platform. I want to stream on Twitch or Mixer, one of the two. I'm going to maybe try out some streams. I'll leave a link in the description to both my Mixer and my Twitch. I already have like 1,500 followers on Twitch or something, but Mixer does seem to be coming up pretty quickly and doing some really cool stuff with interaction for streaming and stuff like that. I feel like YouTube, since they kind of merged YouTube gaming and YouTube, it really doesn't feel like it's all that much of a streaming platform anymore. To me, at least, it doesn't really seem like a streaming platform. YouTube is my baby. I love YouTube, all right? As, apart from the decisions that they make sometimes and they, they can fuck up a lot of the time. I love YouTube. I love my audience on YouTube. I really do. Um, I've amassed nearly 84,000 subscribers on this website and I'm not going away or anything like that. That's not going to happen. I'm still going to be uploading videos on the daily. Uh, but I kind of wanted my streaming to be like this separate thing. And then maybe if I enjoy a stream or I have some good clips from the stream, upload highlights from my streams to YouTube. I'm not going to turn into one of these channels that literally just uploads their Twitch highlights on YouTube. That's not going to be me. I'm going to have them edited down, shit like that, make them into funny videos, or if I play a horror game on Twitch, maybe upload the highlights of that and kind of make it into a playthrough on YouTube. Something like that. Um, someone's content that I watch quite regularly and I really like how he balances his Twitch and his YouTube is Jericho. I don't know if you guys know Tucker, uh, a.k.a. Jericho. Um, I really like his con his name on YouTube used to be I I Jericho I I. You probably know him. He's pretty huge. Uh, he has 1.2 million subscribers on YouTube, and he also has a massive Twitch following as well. But I kind of wanted to do a streaming slash YouTube balance like that, where he makes great videos, and he also has great highlights from his streams up on his YouTube as well. So that's kind of what I... And then he has, like, fun with the streams. I want my streams to be separate from YouTube, because I feel pretty limited when I'm streaming on YouTube. I don't know why that is, but I feel like I kind of limit myself to just playing one game per stream, kind of just sticking with one thing every stream whereas if i'm streaming on mixer or twitch i can just switch it up whenever i want i don't have to get a new 
uh, event i don't have to change things up crazily all i have to do is change the title change the game name and then that's it so that's kind of how i feel about it personally i'd love to get a conversation going in the comments like get a conversation going in the goddamn comments i hate when people say that but i'm serious though because i would really like to get your guys input because if this is something that you guys would not be willing to follow me on and you don't really think that it, it's a good idea i'd like to hear your feedback i'd like to hear your feedback good or bad on whether you think this is a good idea me streaming on different platforms i'm thinking about just maybe doing a couple of test streams on twitch and then maybe one or two test streams on mixer as well just to kind of see what it's like see how the atmosphere is there see if i can even gain any viewers or see if anyone will watch me on these platforms because if i go to twitch and what i get like fucking five viewers per stream then i'm not going to be I'm not going to be streaming on Twitch, you know. If people are actually interested in watching me there and they want to watch me for me, um, I'll probably end up streaming like Warframe, the Golf Club. I'll, I'll be a variety streamer because that's what I am on YouTube. I play a variety of games. I enjoy playing a variety of games. Like maybe if a, a series isn't doing so well on YouTube, I bring it over to Twitch or Mixer and just stream it there and have fun with it with my audience. Um, or like multiplayer games, stream them there. Bring the highlights to YouTube. Shit like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking personally. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are interested in, in, in this at all. I don't know if you care about streaming. You just watch my videos. I don't know. But uh, I kind of wanted to just make a video on it and kind of make a video about my new adventures going forward. I really want to make streaming into a thing for me personally because I really enjoy watching streamers. I probably watch streamers more than I watch YouTube videos. No. Actually, that's a lie. But I do watch a lot of streams. Like, I watch streams almost every night. I'll watch Tifu play t Fortnite all the fucking time. I'll watch Cloaksy. Um, those two are probably my favorites. And then I'll watch Jericho as well. I'll watch him stream. He's not really EU friendly all that much. But then I have a couple of friends that I watch on Twitch as well. And that's pretty much it for me talking about streaming going forward. I think, yeah, I'm going to test it out as I said. Follow my Twitch and my Mixer. Links will be in the description. And um, I want to see how many followers I can get on each and then I'll maybe try streaming sometime next week or this week Maybe this weekend. We'll see. I, I want to stream Warframe soon And I maybe want to stream it on Twitch try it out on a different platform. Anyway um, I'm gonna give a quick little update on my YouTube channel going forward now and what I'll be uploading in September and What I'll be avoiding in September as well. We'll, we'll just talk about the games that I'll be uploading and avoiding so just let me get them up on the screen here. Um, so this, I'm just having a quick look at my schedule, by the way. That's how, why I'm looking over there. So Torchlight 2 comes out tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a playthrough on that. I might do a part one just because I've never played the game. It would be a blind playthrough, a uh, completely blind playthrough. And, you know, might check it out. We'll see. Uh, I'll do a part one. If it does well, we can do more. Uh, also, Greedfall is coming out September 10th. I was really excited for this game. I said it in my top five biggest games of the month. I'm really excited for this game. I can't wait for it. It looks like old school Bioware kind of Dragon Age games. And then I heard that the developers are the guys that made the Technomancer. My friend Scott told me that. And we were both saying it looks really cool. And then he found out that it was the developers that made the Technomancer. And I do not like that game. It did look really cool before it came out. And I just didn't click with it. When it came out, it really wasn't as good as it was made out to be, I feel like. So I'm hoping Greedfall is not in the same vein as that. Hopefully Greedfall is kind of more what I was thinking before in old school Bioware slash Dragon Age. Gears 5, I'll be covering that 100%. I'll be doing a, a part 1 at the very least. And then, you know, maybe I'll stream it on one of the platforms if it doesn't do well. But I think I'll be doing a full playthrough on my YouTube channel of Gears 5. Borderlands 3... I'm not personally all that interested in, so I might skip Borderlands 3 unless there's a couple people that want to play co-op with me. Because playing it by myself sounds a little bit boring to me. But if there's people, uh, maybe some of my friends that want to play co-op, then I'll be down for that. Uh, FIFA 20, we'll be doing a lot of content with FIFA 20, both videos and streaming. I'll be doing a full career mode on my YouTube channel. Um, we'll be going with an Everton career mode obviously as every year but I'm sticking with it this year I'm gonna go a lot further than I have in the previous years I think the career mode looks much improved so I'm definitely checking that out excited to excited to get into it and that's pretty much it for September for me content wise any of the other games that you're thinking I'm probably not going to cover unless there's some shit that I've missed maybe um not going to be playing Link's Awakening don't really play my Nintendo Switch all that much not going to be playing The Surge 2, not interested. 
um code vein not interested i can't remember uh, if there's any other games coming out in september but that's pretty much it for me for september um if you want to see anything else on the channel going forward obviously i'll be playing some warframe and playing some golf club and playing some pga tour here and there as well in september you know it's not like i'm just going to stop playing those games because it's a new month and um, those will be recurring games um, and then October is pretty stacked. So we'll talk about October when that comes around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a little like on it, you know. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot, son. You know. Am I talking too close to the mic? Is this ASMR? Yeah. Look how fucking gray I am. Holy shit, I have a lot of gray hairs. I need to dye my hair. I got a bald patch in my beard and I'm going gray. I'm 25 years old, guys. I'm having a quarter life crisis here. This is not good at all. And this is why I need to start. Um, I just feel like with YouTube, if I'm streaming on YouTube, making videos on YouTube, doing everything on YouTube, I have all of my eggs in one basket. And I, I'm not sure that's the wisest thing to do personally. Like I want to branch out, uh, meet some new people on different platforms, kind of get my socials. You know, I just kind of feel like it's it's better if I kind of split the two, streaming and, and content. And I feel like having all of this content on youtube is not the wisest thing in the world just you know three hour streams not cut up not edited on youtube i don't know i feel like it's it's kind of lazy it's cheap if i if i stream on a different platform and then i edit them and upload them i feel like i'm doing more work and i'll be uh rewarded maybe with people enjoying my content a little bit more and anyway that is what i think i probably won't get as many viewers on twitch or mixer as i would on youtube just because i have already an established viewer base on youtube but i feel like I don't really care about that. Well, I do care about that. Like, if I have really low views on Mixer or Twitch, I'm probably not going to do it. <laughs> like, it does bother me if I have low viewers. But at the same time, it's going to take some time to establish a viewer base on Twitch or Mixer as well. I'm not just going to give up straight away. Um, you know, it's going to take some time. Let me know what you think if you would like to see me stream on a different platform. Which one you would like to see me stream on. And don't forget to keep it tight.